Hello and welcome back to our webcast series on the topic of plane and descriptive geometry. So in this video we're going to look at how to use a coordinate system to locate a series of points in space. So we'll begin by first of all just looking at why do we actually use or why do we need to use a coordinate system in the first place. So if you look at a simple object like the one we have here, here we can see that the dimensions of this object are all what are known as relative dimensions. That is that each dimension is basically giving the location of one surface relative to another surface. So if we look at this red surface here, that's 50 millimeters here off of this green surface here. Or this blue surface here is 25 millimeters above this yellowy kind of orange surface here. So each surface is referenced off of another surface. And for simple objects like this, or particularly solid objects, um, this is a perfectly easy way to dimension an object. Um, however, if you're dealing with more complicated objects or in particular surfaces, objects with no thickness, and um, you can see here we have a relatively straightforward surface but look at all the dimensions we actually need to be able to define each of our three points. So you've actually got quite a lot of work to do for a very straightforward object. So in this case here it's just easier to use an absolute coordinate system. That is to say we're dimensioning each of our points off of an absolute fixed point in space. So this is something we've already actually seen maybe in the likes of maths in your when you're drawing your charts or your graphs. And um, you'll be familiar with the idea of an x-axis here and a y-axis and how we can locate a number of points by giving their values relative to the x-axis and the y-axis. So in this case here, we're 15 units along our x-axis and 10 units up along our y-axis. And we're basically going to use that exact same idea to draw our orthographic views. Only instead of being a 2D object here, X and Y, we're going to have our X, our Y, and we're going to have our depth, our Z axis. So we're going to have three coordinates for each individual point. Um, so let's just look at that in action then. Here we have our point P here in 3D, and here we're going to draw the elevation and plan view of point P. So P is defined in terms of three individual coordinates, an X, a Y, a Z, and each of them is referenced off of an absolute reference point. So on our drawing here, we're going to draw in what's known as a datum line, a reference line. So our first coordinate, our X coordinate, is our distance in from that datum line. So there it is in 3D. And there is our distance x, so in our case 100 millimeters here, from that datum line. And for every point, we're always going back to our original datum line and measuring our x coordinate along it. Um, so 100 millimeters like so. Our next one then, our y value, is the height of point P off of the horizontal plane, or the ground. So in our elevation here, the xy line represents the ground. So we're going to go straight up from that and that's going to locate us the elevation of point P. So that's the projection of P onto our vertical plane, like so. The last coordinate then is our z-coordinate, which is basically the distance P is out from the vertical plane. So in our plan view, the vertical plane is seen as along our xy line, so that's our distance down from that. So that's our z-coordinate, like so. That gives us point P, the location of P in plan view. So there is the projection of P onto the horizontal plane like so and that gives us the elevation plan view of point P so let's just take an example there um, if on your sheet so if we have point A here that we want to locate we're going to be given the coordinates 150 70 and 85 again our X Y and Z coordinates and the first thing we want to do is just draw in a little tick along our X Y line and that's going to be our datum point and um, we have our distance in from that then as 150 millimeters. So with a ruler, we're going to measure that 150 millimeters. Just mark a little tick. And on your sheet then, using your T-square and your set-square, just draw a light construction line straight up from that. So very light, it's only for construction. We're going to find our elevation then. So the Y is our distance off the XY line up, like so. So we mark a little tick to give us our A in elevation. Then we're going to come down then 85 millimeters from our XY line to locate our plan view. So that's our A in plan view. And if you look the way I labeled the point here, the plan view of it is A and the elevation is A1. That's because the plan view is actually your primary view. Um, 
the plan view is projected onto the horizontal plane which is the primary plane think about it if you were building a house you'd start on the ground and you'd build your walls off of the ground you can have the walls going in any direction you want but they all start from the ground so because the horizontal plane is always our first plane that's why this is our first view and if we have an end view it's going to be a2 or if we have an auxiliary it's going to be a3 a4 a2 e3 a4 and so on for and so forth for each auxiliary um, so the final thing we're going to look at then is if we have a number of points, well, say A, B, C, we're going to have three coordinates again for B, three for C, and we're just going to do, repeat the process, always measuring from our datum line in, and then always from our XY line up and from our XY line down to locate B, and the same with C. And what we use those um, points then just to name the actual object. So that's lamina A, B, and C. And finally, if we have, say, an angle there, A, B, and C, the angle is actually located on the middle letter on our description. So if we were given the true angle for A, B, C, it's on B here where the true angle would be located. If it was given the angle, the true angle for B, C, and A, well, it would be located here on the corner. C would be where the angle is located. So that's pretty much it then. That's how we use a coordinate system to locate a point in space in orthographic. So I, as usual, I hope this has been some benefit to you. So thank you very much and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.